Welcome back to the United States, your host Vic speaking. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 safest cities in the state of Maine in 2023. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and a like if you haven't yet. We are a growing channel. I will appreciate it. And we're going to talk uh, talk about number 10 in our list. So we're going to go all the way down to number 1 like we always do. And we're talking about the city of Freeport, Maine. It hosts a population of 87 87 and uh, 13 so 8,713 people the violent crime here in 2023 was 0.1 which is extremely low and at the property crime rate was at 8.5 which is also good it actually went from 10.8 2021 all the way to 8.5 all right and the crime index in Freeport is 56 uh, percent safer than all the U.S. cities, uh, which is good. You know, being number ten, I mean, this is a good uh, percentage. All right, now we're heading to number uh, two, uh, number nine in our list. We got Orono, Maine. We got a population of ten thousand six hundred and sixty-six, um, and the violent crime rate here is at zero point three. Actually, it went down from zero point seven back in twenty twenty-one. The uh, property crime rate here is at 6.2, went down from 7.2 in 2021. Orono's crime index is also great at 51% better, safer than other U.S. cities. All right, now we're heading to uh, Jarmuth. Jarmuth um, is uh, has a population of uh, 8,628. The violent crime rate here is at 0.3. And the property crime rate here is at 4.2. Jarmuth uh, uh, crime index is at a whopping 80, so 80% safer than other U.S. cities. So if you're looking for a small town, a place to live for your family, far away from the big cities, this is the place for you, and it's extremely safe. All right, now we're heading. We're gonna move to number seven, number seven in our list. We're heading uh, to Belfast, Belfast, Maine. Belfast, Maine is a very small town, smaller than the previous one. It has a population of 6,712. Uh, it has a violent crime rate of 0.0. It went down from 0.4 back in 2021. The property crime rate is a little bit higher at 7.0. Belfast, Belfast, Maine sits right to the near the coast. So if you enjoy the water and you also want a small town with safety, for your family this is the place for you belfast uh was actually number eight last year now it's number seven which is good it's getting better and better over there all right the crime index in belfast if you wonder it's at uh 70 better than national average which is really good guys okay now we're moving to number six in our list we have the city of gorham um Gorham, Maine, is uh, still at number six and hasn't moved for a while, so it's a good position. It sits at 0.3. The violent crime rate is at 0.3, and the property crime rate in 2023 was at 3.9. It went down from 7.4 back in 2021. If you wonder, it's getting better. Okay, and the crime index in Gorham, Maine is actually really good as well. It's at 78, so 78% better than other U.S. cities. All right, now we're moving to number five in our list. We have Cumberland, Maine. It was at number two, but unfortunately it went to number, it dropped down to number five. But it's still a good city to live. It's not that far away from the coast uh, either. Um, it has a population of 8,415. The violent crime rate here is almost non-existent at 0.0. And the property crime rate here is a little higher at 6.4. But actually went down to 7. It went down from 7.1 2021 to 6.4. Uh, Cumberland's uh, crime index, it's 86% better than all the US cities. All right, now we're heading to number four in our list. We got Hampton, Maine. Uh, just like Cumberland, it hasn't moved. Uh, well, actually, it did. Well, it hasn't moved at all. It's still at four. Uh, I try to say just like Gorham, it hasn't moved actually. Uh, Hampton has a population of seven thousand five hundred thirty-seven. 
the violent crime rate here is also great at 0.0 and the property crime rate here is similar to that of Cumberland's at 6.4. Hampton is more in inland, it doesn't have the coast so uh, if you like to live inland instead of the coast this is a place for you. It actually has a river nearby so you still kind of have nature just a lot of you know forest around it so you know even though you don't have the coast you still have a lot of nature and plenty of things to do with your family and a lot of safety all right we're going to move down to number three in our list we got oh and by the way uh hampton i forgot to mention sorry about that uh has a crime in this of 73 percent better than national average which is still good and uh we're gonna move to number three Oh, we got Falmouth, uh, Falmouth, uh, Maine. Uh, it used to be number seven, now it's number three on the list, which is good. Uh, it's also not that far away from the coast, and uh, it's not that far away from Cumberland. So it's in the Cumberland area, it has a population of 12,573. The violent crime rate here is extremely low at 0.1, almost non-existent, and the property crime rate here went from 11.0 back in 2021 all the way to 5.4 in 2023. And filaments of full mints, oh, sorry, I'm pronouncing it wrong, full mints crime index is a lot lower than most of the previous cities we talked about at 41% higher, uh, safer than other U.S. cities. But it's still good. Still, uh, you know, they're, they're improving. They're becoming better every day, which is good. That's what matters. All right, now we're going to move to number uh, number two on our list. And we got one of the most, if not the most, uh, safest city in uh, Maine for a good while already. Uh, we're talking about the coastal uh, town slash city of uh, Cape Elizabeth. Cape Elizabeth is right there in the coast, you know. You got a lot of, you know, uh, you know, fishers, you know, fishermen. Uh, we got a lot of, you know, perhaps lobsters. So if you're a fan of the fishing life, you know, you want to be near the coast, you enjoy the breeze, and you want to feel safe. This is the city for you. Cape Elizabeth uh, has a population of nine thousand three hundred and fifty-six. And it has a violent crime rate here, almost non-existent at 0.4, and a property crime rate that is almost non-existent of 0.6. So, uh, Cape Elizabeth actually has the lowest property crime rate in the state of Maine. Even though it's not number one as far as crime, it does have the lowest property uh, property um, crime index in the whole state. So, if you are you know, you don't want to have, you know, you want to lower your chances, then this is the place for you guys. All right, and I uh, also want to mention that Cape Elizabeth used to be number three, now it's number two, so it's getting better. Uh, Cape Elizabeth's crime in this is at a whopping 94, so 94% safer in all U.S. cities. All right, guys, now we're moving to number one. We got Elliot, Maine. It's actually not on the coast, it's far south near the New Hampshire border, it's a border town, so if you, first, let's say you, um, I don't know, you have a job in New Hampshire, and you want to move into a safer area, or vice versa, you know, like, you know, you, you just basically, you know, want to enjoy the best of both worlds, but at the same time, you want a safe place, this is the place for you, this is a, the reason why Elliot is in number uh, one list, it used to be number five, and now it's number one, uh, the violent crime rate here is extremely low, almost non-existent. It went from 1.0 to 0.1, and the property crime rate here is also decent at 3.1. Um, um, and you know, it's a very rural, rural town. There's not a lot to do, but you, you know, you're gonna have a peaceful, you know, live in a peaceful place. All right, Elliot enjoys a crime index of about 72 percent, uh, 72 percent safer than uh, other u.s cities and there you go guys we got the top stuff safest cities in the state of maine and make sure to subscribe to the comment if you like uh my videos leave a like it helps me a lot uh the next video in our list the next uh, state will be the state of maryland so stay tuned guys thank you so much for watching god bless and next time bye bye